you know, I think, you know, it's about identifying the, the flawed responses. So, um, uh, again, even using the word, you know, if I use the word woke, Nick, um, there's an associate, that means something to me and it means something different to you, but it's about understanding it's a label I'm using, which isn't helpful, right? Um, mm. But nonetheless, it helps us to navigate and otherwise you have to describe everything in nth degree of detail, which is too difficult. So, but if someone says something, which is a general statement or a label, it's about not necessarily accepting it, but being aware it's flawed, okay? Uh, and then, you know, as an example, because otherwise what you can do is you can, these, the response can actually be, um, if, you, if you're told something that you don't like, if it's to do with the office or whatever, you will, could well label that person as being awkward or not helpful or whatever the label is, uh, dismiss it rather than take on board the challenge of actually thinking it through and actually th really trying to understand where that person's coming from. And I think the, the challenge is totally different. So, I mean, you know, if you're young and single, right, it's a nightmare at the moment because you're stuck in, you should be out socializing, drinking, chasing women or whatever you normally do at that age. And actually you're stuck at home, really isolated. Whereas, you know, the lucky ones who are married, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, stuck at home with their kids and their spouses so at least we've got people around us and we don't have the, so that situation is really important to listen and keep that dialogue open and, and also to really challenge your own mantras you know if you're stuck with offices stuck with overheads really keep an open mind on this stuff even though you made it may have made some very bad decisions mm -hmm.